de Wiltshire, no oeste da Inglaterra, abriga colinas arredondadas e exuberantes, fazendas enormes e mistérios antigos e modernos. Esta é a região dos druidas, lar dos cavalos brancos esculpidos nos morros e monumentos pré-históricos. Há milhares de anos os britânicos consideram este local sagrado e realizam rituais e homenagens. Eles construíram círculos enormes e enigmáticos, tais como Stonehenge. E atualmente, os círculos estão surgindo nestes campos, criando um mistério de proporções épicas. Nenhum humano conseguiria criar algumas das formações enormes em uma noite curta do verão inglês. E eles lembram de histórias sobre formações que aconteceram à luz do dia em questão de minutos. Houve uma formação famosa em 1996 em frente a Stonehenge. Ela surgiu em um período de 45 minutos em plena luz do dia. Aconteceu em um voo por sobre o Wiltshire. No voo de ida, o piloto e seu passageiro sobrevoaram Stonehenge. Eles não viram nada de anormal nos campos ao seu redor. O piloto aterrissou em um campo de pouso local, reabasteceu e decolou 25 minutos depois. Desta vez, ele avistou uma formação enorme. Ela continha 151 círculos e era uma das maiores e mais complexas formações até então. 70% of all crop circles in the world occur in England. 70% of all English crop circles occur in our area. The first circle appeared on Polly's farm in 1990. Since then, she has discovered dozens of them on her land. Having lived here amongst it for so many years, at the end of the day, I, and I have to say, a lot of other farmers in this area, have to say, hoaxing doesn't explain it. There's something more going on. Polly was particularly amazed at one crop circle that she discovered on a soggy morning in 1992. It poured down that night. It rained very heavily. I had Wellingtons on, and after a long walk, I came upon this enormous circle. It's actually the largest ever recorded circle. We have clay land. By the time I got there, my Wellingtons weighed pounds because I was loaded down with clay. The formation was clean as a whistle. There was no mud on the formation at all. And I couldn't... I, how could that happen? When you see the detail, when you see the way the crop is laid, twisted, you just think, oh, come on, don't tell me that somebody sat here all night. You know, doing this, it looks like water has flown through. It looks like a river has gone through. Because it's just so flowing and so fluid. I mean, who's done that with a board and a plank? I mean, it doesn't make any sense, does it? And where do they practice? Where do they, Where do they practice? practice? Where's the practice one? Are you, you know, they don't practice. There's never a half finished one. No mistakes. You know, I, I mean, it just doesn't. That doesn't make sense. Recently, the story of these crop circles took a dramatic turn. For the first time, physical evidence of their creation may have been discovered. Extraterrestrial artifacts left behind by the crop circle's mysterious creators. The plate is like a map, the map of um, the uh, crop circles. You know, the, the same signs you see on the, you saw on the fields, you saw on the plate. Scientific tests performed by the Technical University in Berlin showed radiation levels inside the crop circles that were 172% higher than in the field around it. Laboratory tests done on the crop circle stalks and seeds reveal mysterious cellular alterations within the grain. University of Michigan professor and biophysicist Dr. W.C. Levengood analyzed these plants and drew some interesting conclusions. What I find is that in a crop circle formation, the electrical conductivity is entirely different than it is in a control sample or a hoaxed one or a man-made one. These intercellular changes that I'm talking about would be absolutely, uh, there's no way I know any technology that could go out in the field 
and replicate this over a circle that's 80 to 100 feet in diameter. Excited by these new findings, astrophysicist John Burke did a series of electrostatic readings on fresh crop circles. We did experiments last year which showed that at least some of these electrical changes cannot be produced by people knocking crop down.
Love me. 